Can you tell? Probably at the top, but like, who is really at the top of my head? Like, come on, it's weird. Make a crochet wig. It's the hair, Lulu Tris. And it's folded up. As you can see, this is how it comes. Braid out here, 24 inches times three. I'm ready. It says it's my sensational. I just realized it, these hairstyles. I like the variety. It's a crochet wig cap, as you can see. That's what it says. Okay, look at the construction. What we think? Okay, when I unwrap it, this is what the hair looks like and how long the hair is. But I'm gonna cut it right here. It's gonna be shorter, of course. One bundle of the three of course and i'm just gonna cut them right here to make it shorter open close when the latch is open you hook the hair onto the latch okay so i'm going to with the latch open slide it through I'm going to take a piece of hair out my bundle, hook the hair onto the latch because the latch is open. Now I'm going to, once I got the hair hooked, I'm going to close the latch, slide the hair through with the latch closed. Then I'm going to open my latch. Take the hair off the hook because the latch is open. Open the hair right here. Grab the hair, the loose hair, pull it through just so it's secure. Wrap the hair around, pull it through. Wrap the hair around, kind of twist it like a scrunchie. Pull it through. It really just takes practice. Do it over and over again. This is piece number two. You're gonna be doing a hundred pieces. That's just how crochet is. Open the latch, put it through the hole, hook the hair, Onto the latch, close the latch, pull it through, open like a scrunchie, open, pull the hair through again. This video is more so for you to be like, hey, I can make a crochet wig too. <laughs>
I've been looping the hair for about 15 minutes, maybe less, like minus the fact that I'm trying to record. So let's just say about 10 minutes. So I'm going to do this for about an hour and then I'll show you where I'm at an hour from now. Okay, so this is pretty much a bundle. So far, what I put in here. Now, as you can see, if you look up a little bit closer, maybe I'll zoom in. I had to go a little bit smaller because I'm, like I said, I only got one pack. And I cut it in half, but I needed to stretch to make a full wig. I only want to use one pack. I don't want to go to the store to pick, an pick up another one. So go smaller i just had to have the time for it of course so i want to say this took about 40 minutes total just putting in this this one and this is how much i have left <laughs> but i love it this is how it turned out so of course i did a little bang it's not that even or it looks a little but i think that that's what makes it cute it's a little messy but making this was so fun i will say that it took me about five hours it could have took me less time but i ran out of hair because i shouldn't have started out the way i did i should have used less hair so taking your time is really what's going to do this one hopefully i don't have to do a voiceover because people playing music and they're having like a party for Father's Day. Okay, so I had to use some different hair like right here. So this is the braid out here, like what I bought. And I do like this. This is more, this is definitely like a braid out. That kinky look, I love that. Now this is where I put a little bit of curly hair that I left, had left over, but that's okay. It still works and I still will be wearing this. I'm definitely gonna make this a series. Doing this made me feel like, oh, I need to do a series. I just put a bobby pin at the top of my head to pin it, make it stay. That's really all I needed. I prefer no combs, but if you want to, buy some combs from the store, put it in a wig so you can clamp it on and off if you're making it for somebody. And of course, with the combs, you can sew it on there. They sell it like that. But yes, this was nice, easy, great pastime. I'm definitely gonna make this a series. I have to. <laughs> I love it.